hello guys welcome to my channel once again today i'll be showing you how to make this lovely two tear dress with a cap sleeve pleated on around the shoulder tip okay so you can see how neatly finished the dress is fully enclosed the sleeve has been fully enclosed everything neatly finished so if this is what you want to learn please consider subscribing and watch to the end so it's a two-tier dress and this is the fabric this is a leftover fabric i have from a dress i made before now i made a wrapper illusion dress and a sleeve a two-in-one sleeve so i will drop the link in the description box if you're interested in seeing it okay it's a child dedication outfit i made for myself and i made for my baby girl she's three months old so this dress is also suitable for three to six months and even two year old baby okay so now the length of this the half length of the full length is 22 the half length of this dress is 6.5 now for babies you don't need the half length too long else it won't be fine to, to just be looking awkward okay so that's the mistake i see from a lot of people they they make their half length babies half lengths are usually very short and that is when it is beautiful so this one is 6.5 okay that's the half length. That's shoulder to waistline and then the shoulder the shoulder measurement is a shoulder divided by two is four so i mark that shoulder line on i mark the shoulder on my on the bust line so the shoulder to bust line is 4.5 okay yeah shoulder to bust line is 4.5 so the bust measurement is 20 the waist measurement is 20 so 20 divided by 4 you have 5 inches so that's what i've imputed and the shoulder measurement 4 inches i brought it down to the bust line so i can get my armhole now the neck width is 2 by 2 for the front and the back is 2 by 1 that's width uh, the width is 2 the depth is 2 for front the width is 2 and the depth is one for the back now for the back now the back we just add um, seam allowance or, um, on this one we are not drafting the back separately okay so around the armhole side i'm trying to create the armhole i just come in come up one inch and then came in three uh, three eight that's three quarter and then i use my arm hook off to connect it down to connect it to the bust line okay so after the bust line from that bust line i mark my 20 that's my five inches on the waist and on the bust line and that is it guys with my one inch seam allowance you can do half inch okay but you can try to do one if you want your baby that if your baby has grown bigger and then you want to keep putting on the dress okay so there's no need for shoulder slope so i'm just cutting it out so this is it this is how simple it is now the full length of this dress is 22 now remember our half length is six and a half so we're taking out six and a half from this measurement so now we'll be cutting the measure the the down part the two tiers so the longest one is 16 inches and then the short one is 10 inch inches so you can make it longer depending on how long you want your baby to wait after all there is seam allowance in there so it's a straight it's a gathered dress right so i just marked it straight i marked my 16 inches straight straight and then i cut you can fold it into just fold it and then cut if you don't want if you don't want to stress cutting it straight up like i did and then after which i just i cut out my 10 inches no it's two tier so this first one is 16 remember i added seam allowance please so that makes it uh, i did 17 and a half because i folded one inch bottom and then joining at the waist one inch a uh, half inch that's 17 and a half why for the the front the, the the top the short one that's the one that will be on top top is is 11 and a half 10 inches long and then have one and a half for folding at the hem and on the joining on around the waistline so that is it guys so for the back what i did was just to come down um come down mark one inch and then add seam allowance to the front i use this front to cut the back all i need i just brought up the neckline up i made sure i cut one inch instead of two inches and added, i added seam allowance so for the sleeve i'm cutting the cap sleeve so the cap sleeve will have a pleat but i want it to end i want the sleeve i don't want it to go around you know babies don't want any convenience so it, it, i marked i measured two inches from the shoulder to the armhole so that's where it's going to end and then i cut my cap sleeve just place your fabric and then cut it's simple see the way i did it do it that way you notch it and then cut the second one so if you want to use the same fabric to to turn it go ahead and cut again but if you don't have enough you can use the lining to cut so this is it guys this is the sleeve and then i'll fold i added folding allowance i folded it so the the, the length is like three you can see the the top i'm pleating the i'll pleat the top to make sure i get two inches where i marked uh, 
on the arm comb okay so this is me sewing i'm done sewing the I'm, I'm i'm sewing the front and then i'll sew the back so this is the front i've cut, gone ahead to cut the lining and then i turn the neckline with my lining i'll do the same thing to the back after turning i'll make sure i join the zip allowance and iron and notch the neckline and then iron and then you can join it so now this the joining of this dress is not the usual way so we are doing we are doing um inseam finishing okay we are doing a full enclosure so you won't be seeing the same line outside so everything will be inside will conceal the same line so what I, i'm doing here is to join the zip allowance together okay so after doing that now i got my my the down part of my the the, the tear part of the dress okay the two tear so i joined them together around the waistline join them on on the waistline make sure you notch the center it's very very important the notching part is very very important so after joining just run a straight stitch on the waistline okay on the waistline of the tutor and then this is me joining the shoulder now i'm joining fabric to fabric i'm uh, lining to line now I, I didn't use the lining to turn the shoulder so when you are doing this please don't turn, don't use anything to turn just join directly fabric to fabric lining to lining so that's how i joined the shoulder you can see me joining the shoulder and then the the lining of the zip of the side i shaped the side separately that's my my one inch i assume my one inch and i shaped the the one inch uh, lining and then i shaped the one inch of the main fabric and so this is me hemming the down part of the dress of the of the, the down part of the dress actually so you hem the short one and you hem the longer you fold it you know i added one inch one and half one for half for the waist and one for the bottom part so you hem it and then i'm making using needle and thread i'm using a strong needle a bigger needle to make my gathers i would have used my sewing machine but because the fabric is a damn that's why it's a bit hard so i don't want any hitches and then that's why i decided to use a bigger needle and i think i double the thread and i'm making my gathers remember we notch the center part of this of this um, straight is a straight fabric remember and then we'll cut the center part that center part is very very important because that will guide your gathering okay so you are also I also um, looked for the center part of the top okay that's the center front so that i'll be able to place it now you can if you pay attention to what i'm doing i'm joining the only the fabric alone you can see i'm joining the the, the fabric of the top to the fabric of the down part the part i'm not the center front and the center fr um, front of the, the center part of the down the notch part of the down part center so i join center to the center together and then i'll align the side okay and then i'll pin down so now after pinning what you need to do now is to ma make sure you gather that side so that you have your 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 gathers evenly distributed if you don't notch the center part of this fabric you may gather it more on one side and the other side will be scanty okay so now i'm gathering the center part i pin together is my guide that i will draw the 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 i'll adjust the gathers and make sure it fits on the side of the of the top okay so after gathering it you can see on the machine too you just pull all you need to do is to pull the thread and adjust but well, make sure you don't gather along the zip allowance leave space so one inch before you start gathering okay and then just sew straight from side to the other side so and when you get to the center part make sure there's gathers a little gathers there and then you continue gathering from the other side and then you have your your gathers evenly distributed please do not make the mistake of gathering on one side and thank you you distribute it if you don't do it the way i just explained you may not get it right okay guys please don't forget to subscribe if you are getting value from this tutorial okay so this is what i've done so far i've gathered it i hemmed the bottom part and this is it so now um i, I want to fix the the, the I'm, I'm i want to fix the sleeve now so what i will do first of all is to sew the down part now i added uh, my joining allowance so to the sleeve i had one inch added one inch down uh, hemming at the down and then the up half half that makes it one so i'm i'm hemming the down part and after which i top stitch yes i top stitch the sleeve the down part of the sleeve so it's going to be very very flat after top stitching then you turn it iron flat and then sew it around just to join the lining to the main fabric and then sew it around make sure 
your center part of the the part that will be on the shoulder is notch that's the center it is very very important and after which just split make your tiny pleat around so my camera didn't capture that part i don't know what happened okay so i've done the pleat already and then this is me attaching it to the shoulder of this dress to the sleeve of the dress you can see now i took out the lining so i sew the fa the the sleeve on the main fabric okay so that's fabric to fabric and then now the lining i'm using the lining now to turn the the sleeve so that i'm going to conceal the the rough edge so you use the front you turn it you push it inside and then push it inside get the rough edge of the part of the sleeve and then get the line and then push it inside just watch it carefully and then you sew it's a bit technical so you can't sew it directly like this from beginning to the end so you sew it a bit and then you you bring you turn it just watch what i'm doing you sew it a bit and then turn you can see that it's not finished so now you can now put your hand on that and then grab it again and continue so from where the way you started you can't finish it that it will be very difficult so you just push it out a little and then you sew again so we are, we are using the lining actually to turn the sleeve so that it's not you know it's a cap sleeve it didn't get around it didn't get to the armhole so and we don't want to uh, overlock the armhole so we want the lining to just be what we use to sew to cover the armhole completely okay this is the, the same way you sew you sew your arm your sleeveless okay if you don't want to use bias right so uh, this is me doing it so what i did here i'll do to the other sleeve just watch carefully you can rewind this part and make sure you get this part very well. so after we this is what you have you can see the cap sleeve very short okay so now you grab your lining and your net i just needed it a bit full so i measured that this line this lining is i really don't know how how much it is but it's, i think it's about one yard i mean in length but make sure the line is shorter than your, the length of the dress and i pleated the net the net is longer than the lining so i don't want to cut it so i just decided to pleat it on the lining so but if they are the same just so run a straight stitch and now you can see this is me placing the lining on the lining of the top okay so i'll place it and then i'll sew it the same way i'll you can decide to gather the lining on the on the lining of the top or you can just pleat but because it's lining i really don't want to waste my time gathering so i pleated it so i'm now sewing it so you you pleat the, the lining now you know the lining the net is already on the lining so you just pleat it round from the beginning to the end so this is it you can see how how gathered it is inside so the lining is to the lining of the top and here we are neatly finished you won't even know that there is something is sewn inside so i'm changing the the zipper foot i'm using a different zipper foot for the dress for the dress i'm not using the main foot so i'm fixing a zip so this is an um a, a good zip i'm using a good zipper here so you sew you sew the first one and then you change the foot for your industrial machine it comes with two foot okay and then when you're sewing the other part you change the foot again and then you sew but please while sewing make sure the zip this the joint parts at the center back align one part should not be longer than the other i have a tutorial on how to make your zip align please don't be a tailor that one zip is in uh, in lagos the other one is in miami please make sure it aligns so that was what i did yeah i match it up i pinned it and then i start sewing from the top to bottom now after which now you just sew make sure you don't you don't sew the lining to the zip to the hem because it's a short dress okay it's, the dress is not long like an adult one so you like then that the possibility of sewing it down may just be them so just make sure you stop one way and then continue down and then now i'm using the lining to turn the zip so the zipper part i'm using the lining to turn it okay so i did this first side and this is the second side okay so this is it guys i now cut out the zip make sure you've closed your zip before cutting it out so this is the leftover applique i have and i decided to use it i used to attach it okay it's simple so what i did was just to get the glue gun make it heated and then i attach it so this is the glue gun it hangs a candle behind and then the tip is where the wax is going to come out from yes that's where the wax is going to come out from make sure it's well heated and then use it to, to attach the applique you can use it to attach anything you want okay so for this the belt yes there is a belt so what i did that was thing i did after i've done with the tutorial okay so i just decided to put a bed I, all i did was just open the side of the main fabric and then fix this the belt inside and then so it close it back the lining will cover it but make sure the belt is outside when you are putting it so you'll be able to tie it and this is how neatly finished it is you can see everything is well enclosed neatly finished it's a dress guys don't forget to subscribe